Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm out here at my shop, my office, uh, where I've got my blue heat going down. That's the wrong grass seed. It's called heat wave. Too many heats and blues going on. So, to confirm, this is gonna be Bermuda grass. Heat wave, GCI heat wave. Now, I consider this a full-blown renovation. Now, when should you consider a renovation? If your yard is just full of crap i mean nothing but crap i'm a 60 40 kind of guy i mean if you got about 60 percent crap and 40 percent good or, or something that's salvageable in my opinion it's time to renovate and start over when you get around that 50 50 mark then you got some more options as far as aeration seeding and that kind of thing but that's a more different video and the other reason you would ever want to consider a renovation if you want to switch grass types that's what we're doing here remember we started off with crap nothing but crap common bermuda i killed it once i got that smoked off i planted four different cool seasons out here just so i could show you what they look like and now i've smoked those off as you can see it's dead as a hammer and now i want to turn this into bermuda grass okay gci heat wave it's a bermuda grass seed that we've got out now and i can't wait i'm really really excited about this you never thought i'd be excited about bermuda right so i'm using just a basic uh it's not basic a ventrax a long ways from basic tractor but you can use any tractor to do this or you can use a handheld garden tiller a little walk behind garden tiller I mean, they're readily available. I've got a big tiller on the front. Uh, we give away this sod right here. A fella from Norfolk come and picked this up uh, not too long ago. And so I had to add a little bit of dirt to uh, you know fill in that area that the sod was taken from. I just used a simple plain Jane box blade, nothing special, nothing unique about it. And just kind of scattered that dirt out. So I can remember back my first ever renovation I did, which was years ago. I used a little Craftsman walk behind tiller. You know, it's got the rear time tiller, like you're using a garden. And man, I tilled up that yard and I took a hand rake and I raked that thing out, got all the crap out and raked it just butter smooth, smooth as a baby's butt. And man, I seeded that thing and I was hooked from then on. So back to that 60-40 thing, you know, it, it, there's a cutoff in there somewhere. Mine's 60-40, yours may be 70-30, maybe 50-50, I don't know, that's up to you. Mine is 60-40, 60, 60 bad, 40 good, it's time to smoke it off. At that point, I feel like you're cheaper and you're gonna get to the, to the finish line much faster with a renovation than you will using selective type herbicides and things like that to try and get to that same point. And then of course, if you're desired grass, you have different types and varieties and colors of the desired grass, it's never gonna match up. It's never gonna even out and give you that, that uniform look you want across the yard. So I've got a real cool renovation guide. It's step-by-step. Step. I'm gonna link that up in the description. And it is specifically designed for someone who wants cool season turf. Okay, you start that renovation process around the middle of the end of July. You do your planting in the fall, and then you're ready to rock and roll. This is totally and completely opposite because I'm planting a warm season turf of Bermuda grass, so I'm going to plant it in the springtime. So why did I pick rototilling? Well, I ain't rototilled one in years. So I thought it would be fun. Number two, a lot of the DIY crowd, you have access to a rototiller. Okay, you can go to Home Depot and rent these things. You can rent a walk behind. Uh, if you got a buddy that's got a tractor, they make three-point hitch rototillers. I'm sure you can rent those somewhere. The main reason, I've got all this dead sod out here, okay? And I need to pulverize this stuff. I don't want chunks of sod all over the ground and try to grow my grass seed in that. I want to get back to bare dirt. That's, that's my main goal for rototilling and not using any other piece of equipment that I have. Even with rototilling it, I'm still going to have some chunks here and there, but I'm going to work those out later when I'm doing some fine grading. Now I'm going to go over in the corner start. I'm going to make one pass on this and look at it. If I'm not content or not satisf satisfied with how it's busted up the clods, I'm going to reverse my direction. You know, I'm going to go this way the first time, then I'm going to go this way the second time and kind of double pulverize it.
See, stuff like that, I just gotta bust it up and tear it all to pieces. Get on out of here. Mmm. Oh, I love it. It ain't nothing like dirt in the hand, I'm telling you. Look at the difference right here. This right here is where they cut the sod. And see, I don't have anything but dirt. And look, just come right over here. See that right there? That's what I'm trying to bury and get rid of. I believe it'll come back to work Monday. You see, I went this way this time. And I'm going to cross it up and go that way. And just try to bury this stuff a little bit deeper and get rid of it. It's just going to decay and turn into some organic matter. So it's actually good to have that in the ground. But it's not good for seed bed prep. And I don't want it on top of the ground. So uh, after I do my second pass, whatever's left, I can work it out with a power rake. But just kind of lightly skimming the top and just cut it all to one side and clean it up now that little corner over there i'm gonna leave it and let it grow natural i'm gonna cut the bermuda off right there simply because of my irrigation system of course i'll have another video on how to design your own irrigation system i've had zero training on it i'm not licensed to do it we don't even offer it for our company uh, i just know how to do irrigation myself so I'm going to lay this out and design this and video uh, that by itself. So if you're ever wanting an irrigation system, it'll be some pointers on how to do that. So that corner of turf up there is going to be natural. I'm just going to let it go. There's not, uh, you know, the, the, where they mow on the side of the road will come up to that point. And right about in the curve there, I'm going to start uh, a bed or a natural area. There's going to be about a six foot wide bed that goes all along the border there and curves and follows the rock driveway all the way down. It's gonna be about six foot wide roughly to separate uh, this wood line from my turf, to separate my rock driveway from my turf. Uh, I can put some nice crepe myrtle in there and you know, whatever. Uh, we'll do that part later, probably in the fall of the year, I'll plant that. But just so you know, that's what that's gonna be. And the only reason you need to know now, and I need to know, is because I need to design my irrigation around that. So next step, I'll come in here, rototill it one more time, slick it down. Now, of course, we can't plant grass seed in loose ground like that. It's not going to work. I mean, when you mow, you'll rut up. So I will have to firm this back up before I can plant the seed, laser grade it out and get it perfectly flat or at least where the water will all run to this corner over here. And then once I get that done, then it'll be time to mark out my beds, uh, this natural area right here and lay out and design the irrigation. Now over here by the parking lot, in case you're wondering, I'm undecided. Okay, I'm undecided right here. I know the bed is going to be about six foot wide and border the rock. And then over here, we're going to have a nice uh, fence put up and kind of in the middle behind the fence. I'm going to put me a big old American flag. It's going to be really cool. But right here, I am really undecided if I want the bed to curve right here and follow the driveway or if I want my turf to go all the way to the driveway, the parking lot. I'm just, I'm torn on it. Comment below, let me know what you think. I uh, still got plenty of turf out there if I do make this natural area. And of course, right here, I would just do some low growing plants, maybe some annual color, things of that nature. Uh, nothing drastic right here. My bigger trees are gonna line this way right here. But the second reason is my cable line for my internet is right here. I know where it's at because I watched them bury it and it's the only line right here. It's the one that goes to my office and one that goes up to the shop up there. And I just didn't want to take a chance on even coming anywhere close to hitting that because we got to have that internet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, we live and die by that stuff these days. So again, I want to be extra clear, extra clear. This yard is going to be Bermuda grass. Why am I being overly anal about that? Because hey, I got some a lot of uh, tall fescue folks that wa watch me, some Kentucky bluegrass folks that watch me. That turf is at my house at the office shop here is going to be Bermuda. So I don't want you thinking you need to do this to a, a cool season turf, wrong time of the year. So hey, 
This is step number two. We did the kill off, we rototilled it, and of course I'm gonna grade it out a little bit, rough grading it next, and we'll lay out the irrigation and all that. So I appreciate you watching. I'll check you later.